Cold start of the 1025R. No preheating, just start to fire up and it stabilize. Yeah, this is the Maiden, first time ever using the uh, 1025R with its uh, new to me uh, 54 inch blade with artillion plow wing extensions and rubber cutting edge. And I'm sitting in the seat now just getting familiarizing myself with it. I idle it up and just put it in first gear and drop the blade and angle it over and do some pushing of the of the snow. So far I'm impressed. And in a second you'll see me kick up the speed, not of the tractor so much, but as of the speed of the video. That just for your viewing pleasure. You'll see I'll just take this and straighten it out and push it across the road in front of my house, up and over the edge, and then back up and make another pass. What I learned is uh, first gear at about 2,000 RPM is pretty slow to, uh, for the conditions. I could actually go faster, so I, you'll see it starts to go faster even with the two times speed on the video. I kicked it into high gear and increased the RPM to 2,300 RPM. Keep an angle over the uh, 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 artillion wing extensions. Take the 54 inch blade and uh, make it a 66 inch. It does a nice job. The material that artillion uses is a really good uh, horse mat. It's die cut and it's an easy installation. Only downside with the artillion rubber cutting edge and uh, uh, plow wings is that they're pretty expensive. But they're, uh, with being die cut, they're pretty easy to put on. You just bolt them on and away you go. I also have uh, uh, enlarged uh, skid shoes on it, set right at the, at the level so I don't tear up uh, anything too much. The uh, plow wings are rubbing more than the rubber cutting edge. That, that'll eventually uh, level off as, with more and more use. I like the idea of not digging into the turf. <clears throat> this section I'm in now is on a gravel road in front of my house. It's about a 200 foot front. Uh, my neighbor's over here on the left, his driveway. He has a, a, his own tractor and his own, actually cab. It's a, uh, another diesel powered rig and he likes to do things his way. They're good, good neighbors, but I've learned that he likes to do his, his way and, or the highway, so I don't help him and that's okay. And, he likes to do it, I think he enjoys it, uh, just like I do. I think that this is a better setup than using the, the front end loader bucket. I tried that last year, it worked okay. I also have a 60 inch rear blade I bought. I tried that earlier in the first snowstorm early in November and found that it just tore up the driveway and, and just pulled gravel right out of the, uh, the driveway out of the side of me and found myself uh, Going, well, next spring I'll be moving all those rocks back. So I thought the uh, artillion uh, rubber cutting edge would be a better way to go, and it looks pretty good. You can see it's scraping right down to the surface of the blacktop right here. The driveway is about 200 feet long, and it's blacktop down to the road. Uh, by the garage, it's concrete. You know, I pushed the snow over to the side a little bit, and uh, seemed to be having an easy time of it. One thing I noticed is that Making turns with the blade angle that tends to make the float wheels uh, float. It's a four wheel drive. Uh, what I learned then to do is you get the thing turned around, in it pointed straight, and then uh, drop the blade. I float it. Uh, there's no way to really dial this thing in to deal with the varied uh, conditions of the road. Uh, pushing it out pretty good. Really powerful. It's four wheel drive. I'm running uh, the turf tires. The rear tires are filled with rim guard, and I think there's about 85 90 pounds of rim guard on it. And it doesn't need any turns. Works great. Four wheel drive really helps. My entire driveway is, uh, like I said, about 200 feet long. There's a side gravel road that goes back to my shop. Uh, I did it took me about 45 minutes to do all this and what I found is uh, it, it does, this does a great job. I'm taking the video, the video I have attached to my uh, uh, strap of my 
on my head is it's got a laser sight that really allows you to paint the target so everything's in correctly. So I've seen too many times when you do a hat cam type of situation with either too high or too low. Uh, I think it's uh, sighted on the left side of the, of the pl plow blade. So here I'm just pushing the uh, snow off and to the side. Considering as we had eight inches of very wet snow, it moves it beautifully. Uh, and uh, if you were doing this for the first snow of the year, this is probably the best way to do it. Gives you enough room to have uh, enough space to dump the snow. Now this is the turnaround drive that takes us back down to the road. So I'm going to make repeated attempts on this to do it. It was uh, worth every, all the time I spent on it. I enjoy it. And then we push across the other side of the road as I get there. And pop it up and over and let it go. I'm going to pass here. Getting the snow off to the side. And the driveway and the very right there where they kind of take the trash out. And the recycling bin goes on that side, so it needs space for it to sit, so this really accommodates it. It would be nice to have a cab on this thing, but now, as of right now, it's not in my plan to buy one. This has been an excellent machine for me to have. The 1025 a with the 60D deck, perfect for you know, uh, uh, mowing in the summer. Like the mulching kit also takes care of the leaves in the fall.